Yo, 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 guys, what is going on? It is your host, BK from Let's Become Billionaires. Today, we're going to be talking about the stock to you, an innovative company in the online college space. But before we get started with that, I want to give you guys a quote from Elon Musk to start off your video. And this quote is, when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. So if you guys want to do something that's a little bit risky, start your own business, become financially free, financially wealthy, spend more time with your kids or your family, I'm giving you permission to go do so, so go do that and enjoy yourself. All right, now let's start the video. To you is not a joke. To you is working with colleges such as Harvard, such as Georgetown, such as Yale. So it's not a joke in any means. It's working with real universities and big universities at that. Now, they have two business segments that I really want to talk about. The first is going to be their graduate segment. Their graduate segment focuses on undergraduate students and graduate students who want to take a course and earn a degree online. Their alternative credential segment, their other segment, is going to be the segment that includes short courses, boot camp courses, and certificates. It goes without saying that these are two very different segments, and that one is going to be more like the college except the online version, and then the other one is more so for retraining purposes, right? So if somebody wants to learn a little bit about a certain sector of their job, they can go to their alternative credential segment and get some short courses on a very concentrated topic. Whereas if somebody wants to earn a degree in, let's say, finance, they would go to their graduate course program. Now, we're going to start off with an overview of the company and their financials really quickly, and then we're going to move on to show you guys three growth catalysts on why I believe the stock will continue to grow. Now, it's very important to see that the price is about $31 right now at the time of this recording, and the price to sales is 3.17. The reason I give you guys the price to sales is because they're not profitable yet and their cash flow is still negative, but they're aiming to be cash flow positive by 2021. If you don't know what that means, it just means they're expecting to gain more money than they essentially spend on their business in 2021. So they're probably going to be profitable then, even if they're not, I still believe that my points hold valid in this video. In terms of my three growth catalysts, number one is going to be that Online college is going to be more accessible and a lot more convenient, freeing up time for students who otherwise wouldn't have time for college. Number two, students who are going to college online via 2U are going to be able to earn an income while they do so, and their tuition is going to be partly deferred and lowered. So we're going to get into that in a little bit. Number three, with displacement, meaning innovation displacing workers from what they are usually doing and also from AI kicking people out of the workforce essentially it is very important for people to be able to quickly learn new skills so that they're not irrelevant in the workforce and 2 is going to offer that via their uh, alternative credential segment let's start off with point number one that online schooling is more convenient now none of this has really any data behind it it's more of just an obvious thing that people kind of understand once they go to college a lot of your time is spent walking to class, going to dining halls, dealing with this little bureaucracy of college, having to take classes that you don't care about. With online schooling, now I had to do, I had to deal with online schooling because of the, the thing that I'm not allowed to talk about on YouTube. And well, here's the thing. My classes move from being a mile away from me, half a mile away from me, to being right here where you guys are on my computer. My bed's right over there. I roll out of bed, come here do, uh, and fulfill my classes. I roll out of bed, go downstairs, get, grab myself water, grab myself some food, come up and, and enjoy it while I'm in class. It's a lot more convenient, opened up a lot of free time. I'm reading now. I'm doing so much more. I'm being more productive than I was at school. This is very important for entrepreneurs, for people who are like-minded like me, and, and really want to aspire to do big things because they're going to have time freed up so they can actually be productive when they're not in class. Whereas in college, a lot of your time, you can't be productive. You're walking to and from class. I mean, you can listen to an audio book. You can listen to a podcast. That's about it. So I know this point has no data behind it. There's no, nothing really proving this point. Nobody's really doing research on you know what I'm just talking about right now. But I guarantee you that this is an obvious fact that Hours of your day could be freed up when you're not distracted by people in your dorm, not distracted by parties, and not distracted from having to walk to your class and trying to listen to music to not be bored during that walk. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the content so far, before we get to point number two, please smash that like button down below. Hit the subscribe button with the notification bell so it goes ding, and check out some more content on my channel. With that being said, this transitions me to point number two, and that college is more affordable than it's ever been when you go online. Now, when you're in, let's say, a job, right, you're getting $80,000 a year, the dilemma is that a lot of people want to get a degree 
uh, let's say a master's degree or a doctor or whatever it might be so that they can increase their income. The problem comes in two ways. One, you might have to give up your income, at least temporarily, or you might have to take a cut because you're not working as much. Or number two, you have to accumulate debt to do so. Now, what's great about online schooling is you could t schedule it to your own schedule. You don't have to take it during class time. You could take it an hour later or two hours later, three hours later, the next day, whatever floats your boat. And that means that you can do it on your own time. It's convenient and you can earn an income while doing so. So people are going to want to go to college more and more and more and learn more and more and more. In addition, what's really great about college being laid out like this is that 2U has also incentivized students to come to college by delaying half of their tuition until they get a job. This is two things. One, it incentivizes to you to actually make their programs worthwhile so that they actually get paid. And number two, it allows students more opportunity because they don't say, hey, what if I fail? What if college doesn't actually pan out? Because if it doesn't pan out, their cost is reduced in half. On top of that, some of 2U's colleges have actually cut tuitions. And cutting tuitions, I don't know if you guys know this, but some students might actually love that. So I'm really, really bullish on that part of their business as well. Now, in terms of the alternative credential segment, I want to talk about this segment because this is the segment that I'm buying this company for. I'm not buying it for the undergraduate and graduate segment. If that's the only thing the company did, I would be easing back in my chair and looking at other stocks. The, the, the alternative credential segment is the reason I am very invested in this company because that is going to allow people who see growth in certain industries to take courses in those industries really quickly, learn in about six months and be able to apply that to their job and increase their income, increase productivity, or expand their business. Huge, huge for people. Now, what's great too is this is reoccurring revenue. People might come back three or four times to learn things as innovation is taking place, which we'll talk about in a little bit more depth in the next section. But people are going to come back to this because one, it's affordable because they're going to be paid for coming back to learn more they're going to get rewards from it so they're going to reap the benefits and there's almost no downside because you could do it on your own time huge guys i'm loving this now let's move on to step number three which is that not only is it more affordable and more convenient but you might have to do this now i talked about people who want to develop themselves who want to learn about new industries in the last part in part two now we're going to talk about people who have to learn have to learn new things let's talk about truck drivers 3.5 million of them will be displaced when automa automation in, in the truck driving industry comes and this automation has already come from tesla the semi truck can drive itself what happens when all those people lose their jobs what happens when ai removes 40 percent of the workers from the workforce those people are going to need to be replaced into a new job but how are they going to be placed into a new job when everything else is going to be automated as well they're going to have to learn a specific niche and become very invested in that and very smart about that topic well, a very quick way of doing it is to go for a boot camp or a short course or a certificate degree with to your services while they're working, right? So maybe they understand that it's inevitable that they're going to lose their job in, let's say, in, let's say two years, right? Well, they can say, okay, I can be smart about this and I can take a course at home, try to learn a couple of things so that once I lose my job, I'm going to be skilled elsewhere so that I'm not useless. That's huge, guys. And it's huge because not only is displacement coming within the next couple years, but I believe that with technology being so, so amazing at this point in our lifetimes, that it's going to be occurring quicker and quicker and quicker. Meaning that innovation isn't like a one-time thing or an occasional thing that used to happen every, let's say, 20, 30, 40 years. Now it's going to be happening every decade. There's innovations coming out every decade, new business ideas every decade, and people need to be prepared for that. In conclusion, guys, I believe this is a good buy. Now, it's a risky buy for sure because they're not profitable yet. They might have to raise more capital. But I do believe that over the long term, they're the Tesla of the college industry. They're going to expand the need for college, expand the borders and horizons for education, and increase the number of people who are educated and making a difference in our world. I'm very excited for this company and I'm proud to say I own it, not just as a stock, but also as a company that is changing the world. It's kind of like owning a Tesla. It's kind of like owning an Amazon. Changing, revolutionizing the way we think, the way we educate ourselves. And I'm really glad I own it. So guys, I have bought shares. I do believe at this valuation, it is a buy. I do believe it's a little bit risky. So maybe a small portion of your portfolio, but right now I have it at about one to 2% of my portfolio.
If you guys have enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, guys. So, guys, until next time, I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.